If you haven't seen it, go to Billy Zig on YouTube and check out the dome experiment, which is a very interesting thing. It'll just get you thinking. Um, but yes, while we're here, check this out. So we're in, at Darling Park in Sydney, and you'll see here they've got an azimuthal equidistant bar. I've always wanted to come here, so Sam and I are going away with And we'll walk inside once we're finished and, and show them the stuff in there, too. So, on the circumnavigating map, on the flat earth map, And you see the water's level. A water cannot be level on a ball. Because if it was a spinning ball, they would have had a spinning ball here and the water would wrap. There is only it. one thing to show you that there's a ball and that's under the feet of the crane. It's holding onto the ball which is on the obelisk. But for some reason they didn't put water wrapping around it and spinning. And if that was here doing that, then I would believe it. If I could see that working it be the case. Yeah, if you give not us a only, workable example, I guess. Not only that, you know, the workable example needs to be from a one step. Now we're on Africa, and this is actually, I'll give you a little bit of history about me. This is Libya right here, and I was born in Libya, but my background is actually from Syria. So, a little bit of a history, and I spent about nine years right here in Lagos, Nigeria. But now well, I reside all the way over here in Sydney, Australia. So let's go for a quick walk around and we'll show you the islands. So we're going from Africa to South America to the United States, Canada, back to Asia. Back, we're going to step on India. I don't mean that literally. We don't want to step on anyone. We love all nations, nationalities. I was just, you know, a figure of speech. Larry, what's good, my bro? Clearly they've planted stars everywhere. And they've given us the... The, the zodiac. The zodiac. Are in there. They've given us the, the stars. Got We've got the zodiac. Type effect, like a dome type effect happening around it. All the celestial bodies. And what do we see up here? Whales in the oceans above. So the, the whales and the sea creatures represent the oceans above. And you can see there's waves everywhere, anywhere where something's coming and there's waves underneath it. Follow us through here now. So we've got the heavens above. So keep in mind we've got a flat earth map out the front. We've got a dome cafe here with the the heavens above, the waters above, the um, constellations. So you've got you know all your zodiac constellations. You can see Scorpio here. Um, you know what I mean? So it, it's quite an interesting place. So, yeah, look, I'll give you a quick view, but look at this. Look at that. See the waters above? See the waters above, Bill? Yeah, it's amazing, actually. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. Look at that. Recessed into the wall is a massive scale clock of the flat earth map with what bill can explain this a little bit better as a, as a clock so what it's showing me is just the different path of the sun so the sun so it's got the summer sunset line here we've got a winter sunset line from here straight through here they've got a, a spring autumnal sunset right through the center so you can imagine they can see why the sun light gets closer to the Go through, so it's got the path of the vernal and autumnal and equinoctial sun. This is really interesting because the dial will be moving around. But you'll see at the moment, this is depicting what time it is, and you know, it's, you'll see that the sun path is over Australia. They haven't just used the normal straight indicator, they've got this wavy. As you can see, this wavy it's a dial. beautifully presented. I'm not even sure right. why you do so it. So it gets like thinner that, and you know? thicker as well. It's very it's just nice. really interesting. And oh, quickly. Oh, sorry, come around. As Sam said, I don't even know why you put a flat earth map up that side with water, but showing containing water. Inside's got that, inside's got that. Obviously. Hey, Jeremiah.